It's our weekly check-in with Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. And Mayor, let's start today with Burlington City Council approving amendments to the development charges bylaw. This gets wordy if people go in to read it, but bottom line, what does it mean for residents and taxpayers? So the city can collect a certain amount on every new unit built in the city of Burlington to cover things like, oh, we need more buses because there's more people here. We need more community centers. We need to expand a roadway or put in some bike lines. Uh, whatever is growth related uh, based on population, we can tuck into our development charge bylaw. And the intent is really twofold. Make sure that development better starts to pay for growth. It doesn't fully, growth doesn't put fully pay for growth but we also want to protect our taxpayer from having to subsidize development. So we just updated our development charge bylaw. Uh, it was kind of a mini update. We'll have a full update um, in the next term of council. And we're also looking to incentivize affordable housing as part of that update too. Now, speaking of growth and housing, you know, a lot of the time when we do this, we talk about 2051. We're always looking, you know, 30 years into the future and all the developments and infrastructure that's being put in place. And now there is a proposed settlement reached on a multi-tower residential rental development at Fairview Street and Drury Lane. Now, opposed to the towers that we've spoke of before on the lakeshore that have caused issues, this is one that you've got to be able to get behind because it is by the GO station. Well, around the GO station is exactly where we want to see high rise developments and, and the densest form of development should be there because you're right near transit. And that's the idea is that it, if you put it near transit, fewer uh, cars are on the road, you can, you can accommodate that kind of growth. So this is a number of towers uh, between 30, 35 stories, uh, all rental. So another really important part of our housing mix, uh, which we don't get a lot of purpose-built rental. Uh, some three bedrooms in there. We don't often mm -hmm. see family size units and there's gonna be a new uh, city park. So uh, there's lots of good things about it. It's important to remind folks that uh, our previous 1997 official plan didn't have any height limits here. So that was not an option, but having said that, uh, this is where we wanna see, uh, if we're gonna have that kind of growth, we wanna see it exactly where it is. So let's talk about the, the older homes now, I guess this would apply to, because council has approved development of a, of a home energy retrofit program. You know, a lot of, I know a lot of people are trying to be green and that can be challenging with older mm -hmm. homes and older technology, but what is the intention here? So this would provide a loan, uh, you know, interest-free loan for people to put in things like a geothermal heat system. A lot of capital costs up front, but the and the benefits, you know, are kind of trickle in, so to speak, over a period of time. So if we can help people uh, cover that upfront cost with a loan program, uh, that's really our contribution to help making it happen until they start to see the revenue and then they can pay that loan back. It, it's really important for us to try to help our businesses and our residents to make green choices and reduce greenhouse gas emissions because the city, uh, our operations are only responsible for about 10% of greenhouse gas emissions. So this is a true team effort, even if we get to net zero, uh, we need residents and business to really uh, also look at their their environmental impact. So this is just one way we can help with that. All right, final topic today, uh, and this is a great one. The city will be offering free menstrual products in Burlington's mm. public washrooms. This is something that you know we've seen a lot of in the past being implemented in schools, but to take it to a municipal level, this is fantastic. It really is. And this is about equity, about diversity, inclusion. You don't pay for toilet paper when you go to, a, go to a restroom right now. And so why should you pay for menstrual products? It is enormously expensive. Uh, some people have called it period poverty, where they've had to choose between covering the cost of that and being able to pay their other necessary bills. So in public spaces, this is the, the you know, this is the least we can do to kind of help with that. And it really creates equity between men and women um, and between people who need to use those products and, and people that, you know, get free toilet paper. We don't ask people to bring that into our facilities. So this is really about equity. Mayor Meadward, always a pleasure. We'll do it all again next week. Thanks, Jason. Great to talk.